Hi guys and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 12. And in this blog post, I'm going to discuss about the fact table. So let's start. So when we talk about the fact table, what does that mean? It means like a fact table is basically a table full of facts. So naturally the question that comes into our mind is what is the fact? So the fact is basically a numerical field, numeric field, and it always will be a numeric field which usually needs to be aggregated and will be set as the value part of the visualization. We will later see it in our Power BI uh, display part. Uh, so for the better understanding, let us understand the fact table with respect to the following diagram. So here we have a table and it contains multiple columns. Uh, now, if you look closely, uh, there is a column in which uh, numbers are coming only the numbers are coming so order quantity unit price extended amount product standard cost so these are some kind of values that are coming in and these are basically aggregated value or the granular value some kind of a value but they are these are the values which are required to be reported and these are the base these are going to be utilized as the value part of the visualization so these values are normally called or named as facts you can actually uh, imagine a fact as like uh, so, uh, like uh, sum of uh, particular column uh, maximum minimum so uh, average so these are the aggregations that uh, normally we utilize in order to uh, showcase aggregations or as facts now if we have these facts so what is the sec uh, what is this part so this is the keys part. And uh, in order to understand keys, you need to understand the dimensions. Uh, I have elaborated the dimension in my previous video, so you can actually check it out. But uh, the key, these are the keys that are actually coming in with respect to various dimensions whom this fact table belong to. So there will be many uh, associations, one to many relations of this fact table with other dimensions. So right here, uh, we have like uh, uh, resale, uh, reseller key, customer key, product key, order date key, new date key, and ship date key, and the sales territory key. So more the keys we will have, more granular data we shall have for the aggregation, and more uh, power for slicing and dicing uh, will be available, right? So this comes to the concept of the grain in the fact table. So what is what is actually the concept of the grain? So let's understand that with respect to the following uh, table. So I have a table in which there are three dimension keys coming in and then there is there are five measures or the five aggregated values. So right now I can say like I can actually uh, visualize the data with respect to product key, order date key, and the customer key, or with respect to any combination that is available with respect to these three keys. So three factorial means nine combinations. I can visualize this data with respect to the nine keys. So I must say that the product key, order date key, and the customer key is basically the grain of this fact table. And through this uh, these grains, I can actually slice and dice the data of the aggregation aggregated values. So if I, so it's directly proportional to the number of columns that I will have more uh, as dimension keys present in this fact table. So I have introduced two more columns over here, like promotion key and the sales territory key. So it means that right now I have like five dimension keys, right? And through that, I can actually visualize the order quantity, unit price, product standard cost, and so on and so forth, sales tax amount, and I further move on to that. But right now, uh, with respect to these uh, five keys, I can actually visualize this data in 120 different ways. So the grain of, the, uh, of this fact table is basically, uh, I will say like product, key, order date key, customer key, promotion key, and the sales strategy key. So in summary, in summary format, in summarized format, 
to more fields you have as a grain in your fact table means the more dimensions you are connected to and it means that you are more power for slice you have more power for slicing and dicing on the other hand uh, more fields also mean that more rows uh, will be coming into your fact table and the fact table will be increased and you will need more memory to store the data uh, but visualization and the anal analytics will be stronger then. So, uh, so now moving further, we will I will discuss like there are different types of fact tables. So the first uh, fact table is basically transactional fact table, and this is the most common type of a fact table. When a fact table is basically built from a transactional data table that the transactional database that is uh, that contains the transactional data table then the outcome of uh, uh, that table will be the transactional fact table it is a transactional fact table which we have only one row per transaction and the grain of the fact table is at the transactional level so you may say like right now we have like uh, product key here uh, we have order date key, consumer key, promotion key, sales directory, and order quantity as our transactional uh, database table. So, so it's uh, it's basically it contains only uh, one transaction per row, which is actually same as in the transactional database. Now, uh, to move further, we have like periodic snapshot. Uh, fact table so if you really do not uh, need all the de details in the transactional table or the amount of data is so huge that keeping the transaction doesn't make sense and you would uh, at the end of the day only query data at the aggregated level then you can actually create aggregated table based on periods for example monthly quarterly yearly etc this type of fact table is called basically periodic snapshot fact table and the grain of periodic snapshot short track table is the desired period or and other dimensions so here in the following table i have like product key which is actually another uh, dimension for the sliced in but uh, here is the here i have period key as well so right now what i am saying like uh, for this period i am uh, accumulating the amount for the particular product key and the consumer key and the order quantities, uh, sorry, uh, order quantities are being aggregated and sales amount is also being aggregated. So for a certain period, for the certain product, for the certain customer, I am just aggregating the data of order quantity and the sales amount. So this is a slicing and dicing with respect to a certain period where you don't need to utilize uh, you don't want to utilize a granular data or the transactional data. So uh, another one is accumulating snapshot fact table. So uh, this is the snapshot. It is actually created through a process. For example, for creating a work order, first the work order request has to be raised and then it should be sent to appropriate department and the manager then the manager should approve or reject it, then it depends upon the action, some other steps might occur. Every row in the accumulating snapshot fact table will have details of one work order in such case. So the reason that is the table is called the accumulating snapshot. It, uh, it is the basically the part of the data coming later uh, into the table. At the time of processing the table, we might not have the entire data for a workflow or the process. So the blow screen, uh, so the following screenshot is basically an example of accumulating snapshot fact table. And you may see that not all columns uh, for every row is filled. Some part of the data might arrive later. They are, there are columns showing different stages of the process. So it's not necessary that you will get the data uh, uh, on the fly in the warehouse with respect to this. Uh, so it might come later in this state. So this is a rare uh, case, uh, but it is used in the industry and 
it's another type of the accumulating uh, fact table. So the last one is the factless uh, factless fact table. So uh, what is the factless fact table? So uh, we can say that like after the transactional table, this type of fact table is the most common type of the fact table that that is being used. So a factless fact table is a fact table without ha any facts. Like it's it doesn't have any aggregation included in it. In it it will have only dimension keys. So it's like, because like F, it, it has an important purpose. So a factless fact table is to check not part of an analysis. For example, in a model like start schema with uh, for example, sales table, you, how can you tell basically that there will be a proportion, a promotion for a product in a day. And uh, there, there are no sales made for it. So for this kind of scenario, you will use uh, the fact table, factless table. So, uh, so you can actually visualize this better by utilizing the following ERD diagram. Like here is in the middle, uh, there is a factless promotion uh, table and it contains the dimensions, uh, dimension keys from different uh, uh, tables right uh, so what i will do i if i would like to see like uh, what is the promotion uh, promotion value for a certain product uh, for a particular day uh, i will have uh, so i don't need i know i really don't need to aggregate the data coming from the product table for the promotion values so what i will do i will simply create a bridge table uh, and it's gonna take the three keys and whenever whenever i would like to query i will just make sql query or the dax query and put it on the factless promotion and see like what kind of promotion was given and provided at a certain date for the certain product so uh, this is all about the fact tables hope so you have enjoyed it so let's move toward uh, our Power BI presentation. So here it is our blank board. So coming towards that, so let's see uh, like uh, what we what do we have here. So here in the middle, uh, as per the star schema, we have like uh, date dimension, product dimension, sales order, reseller customer and the sales territory. Now, all of these values are being, uh, all, all, all of these dimension values are coming in here as our uh, dimension keys in the sales fact table. So, so all of these values will be coming over here, right? So it means that I can slice and dice the data of the sales with respect to these dimensions like sales order, product reseller, customer date, and sales territory. I can easily do that. I, will, I can actually create visuals that I would like to have. For example, let's see the data of the sales. So right now here with respect to sales data, I have a lot of lot of data over here. And uh, I have like uh, reseller key, customer key, product key, order date key, due date key, ship date key, sales territory key. And then I have my years or the aggregations, order quantity, unit price, extended amount, standard cost, total product cost, sales amount, and discount price. So I can slice and dice this information, which is called fact, with respect to the dimension keys, which are these, right? So let's play with them. So in order to understand this, I'm just going to drag the table because it will give me a good view about our scenarios. So let's suppose I would like to see sales right and i would like to see i i just go and i would like to see the unit price so right now i'm just get, getting a one unit price which is actually 465.18 so right now i don't know uh it's just a simple unit price and i don't know anything about it so let's suppose i would like to see it with respect to product so for the product 
I just go and I just click on the product name. Right. So right now, a product dimension, what actually happens is like a product, it, uh, it goes into the fact table, right? And that, that dimension product, uh, that, uh, the Power BI basically picks up the dimension key, went into the fact table and gets the unit prices against each product and showcased it over here. So automatically, uh, it has, uh, uh, it, it picked up the value and showcase the unit price over here. So let's say like, I would like to see the standard cost as well with respect to the product. So I will have the standard cost as well coming in right now. So let's uh, introduce more dimensions over here. For example, I would like to see the date wise, uh, data. So as you can see, by just introducing the date, I have more data coming in right now. Previously, it was like for less. So more keys or the more slicing and dicing will be introduced. The more data will be, uh, comes into the granular level. So right now I'm just, I have omitted the date. Let's click on the fiscal quarter. So with respect to the quarter, Data is still com coming in and pouring in, but it will be few or the less than the dates uh, on uh, than the date level. So let's uh, let's suppose I don't want to see the product name. So what will happen? So I have omitted the product. So just omitting the product, you can see like the data is only unit price, standard cost, and the fiscal year is coming right here right now. Uh, let's suppose I don't want to see the standard cost as well. So you can see that the data is like comes into a very granular level right now, like uh, for the fiscal quarter of 2018, this is the unit price that is being, uh, that we are seeing. And for the quarter three, four, and so on and so forth, you can see the more data. So the more uh, dimensions will be associated uh, in the visual, the more granular data you will see. So this is, a, this, was, uh, this is something that I talked about, like granularity of the data or the grain of the table. So you can actually see uh, as many as uh, visuals, you can actually utilize Power BI in order to see the data and in future post, uh, we will discuss more about visualization, how to create the visualization, how to model the data, how to utilize DAX, its functions. And these all operations will be performed on basically two tables, fact, fact table and the related dimension table. So before moving towards the visualization, I thought like it's quite tough, like it, it is important to understand the fact and the dimension table. So and thanks for watching my video and please do not forget to like subscribe and share my youtube channel yasser fazal and please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you should get the latest video as soon as it is uploaded and as always please spread the knowledge thank you